From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. And it'll be fun in Wagner, especially if we can have this nice of weather. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of rain, but heaven knows we need the rain right now. Hopefully by then we'll have had enough that we can just kind of hope for some sunny skies and 80s. We had 70s today. We still have some showers moving across Okmogee County primarily and central and eastern portions of uh, Creek County. Not much, but hey, it's making wet, and that's about all we can ask for right now because we still have a massive drought uh, issue going on. A few isolated showers continue on the north end of uh, Keystone, and they're just kind of drifting southward a little bit across the Keystone, getting ready to go over Keystone Lake. And then in southeast Oklahoma, most of the showers are kind of winding down, so about the only bands of showers are close to the metro at this time but it is kind of a really nice nice setup for us at this point it, it minus the fact we didn't get enough rain for a lot of us uh, there's still showers and lots of rain out to the west of us across portions of new mexico but for the most part it's drier and cooler air up to the north but we've had so many clouds coming in because that big ridge of high pressure is broke down pretty much just broke down and so that's leaving a better chances of having a boundary move through also showers and thunderstorms developing and that's why this sudden significant change and yes temperatures have changed dramatically in the last 24 hours. We're still sitting in the mid-70s in Tulsa. We're up to 82 in Wichita and 80 in Kansas City, 82 up in uh, St. Louis. But again, that's under sunny skies. If we'd had sunny skies, we'd have been way up in the upper 80s. In fact, if we had sunny skies in that boundary, we'd have been in the 90s to low 100s again today. But fortunately, that wasn't the case for us. Unfortunately for our friends down in Texas, not so good. So this big ridge of high pressure is getting pushed back away from the area. We're getting more of a northwesterly flow. This is on the jet stream right now. And because of that, there's a storm system coming across the Great Lakes area and an upper level disturbance uh, and disturbance that's going to be moving across New Mexico again. New Mexico is like grass green. And like at the beginning of the season, I thought it was going to burn up because we were just like, man, this is not good. But it turned out to be wonderful for New Mexico. It has improved so much since the beginning of the summer. For us, we went south, obviously. But right now, we're looking at a pretty good chance of rain late Saturday night into Sunday. So that's our hope right now for a significant amount of showers and storms. And then next week, as we go on into Wednesday of next week, it's kind of quiet, but you'll note that these are showing up going from the northwest to the southeast. So that's going to keep us from getting into the real hot air because that big old ridge is sitting out well out to the west of us. And even as we go through the end of next week, we're seeing that retrograde all the way out to the West Coast. And so that gives us more unsettled weather and better chance of showers and storms. That's next week. Besides going into rain here, maybe Saturday night and Sunday. So there's opportunities and good news ahead. Plus, the temperatures are not going to be nearly as hot. I mean, we've been averaging about 10, occasionally 15 degrees above normal. And if you look at our normal line, this is more normal to be above and below on average. So we're doing very, very well and we're expected to do well. Let's put it that way. Hasn't happened yet. Uh, we do see some showers, though, starting to show up on Saturday, mainly Saturday night. Sunday's our best shot. Winding down on Monday, but then look what happens. Then we have a couple of opportunities for a few showers on Wednesday and again later next week. So there are that green is good. And yellow here is going to be good if we don't get too carried away, about two to three inches on average over the course of the next 10 days. So that's going to take a little while, but we should see a pretty significant amount of rain and thunderstorms around the area on Sunday. And so that could add up pretty quick. We're in the 70s, as I said, right now down to the south and west. Managed to get in the upper 80s to low 90s, but it's a much better feel to uh, Oklahoma weather. And we're 25 to 30 degrees cooler than it was this time yesterday. Temperatures will be in the 60s in the morning. Any showers would be down south where they need it. By the time we get into the afternoon, we're in the 80s. And again, just great. And by the time we look on into the morning hours for Friday, 60s. And Friday afternoon, we're in the 90s. And then as we work our way on into Saturday, 90s. Slight chance of a thunderstorm Saturday night. Good chance of storms and 80s on Sunday. Huh? How about that? Anyway, we're talking about temperatures. 73 tonight. A few isolated showers just kind of ending. 64, nice, cool. What did I say cool? I don't remember using that word. Seems like it was just a long time ago, someplace far, far away. <laughs> and temperatures in the low 80s by noon. And then as we extend the forecast, we are back to summer, Friday and Saturday, but then here comes some more rain and thunderstorms knocking the temperatures back down. And pretty reasonable, pops up a little bit Thursday and Friday, but more rain after that too. So again, huge shift, a little bit more like how August should be spent.